It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Merry Christmas, everybody, here from Farm Lake. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Hi, boys and girls. I'm Hazel Chu, I'm the Lord Mayor of Dublin City, and a very Merry Christmas to you all. I'm here today to read you a little story that I love. It's called Reindeer Down, an Irish Christmas Tale by Natasha McEnford, illustrated by Audrey Downing and published by the O'Brien Press. So here we go. Santa and the reindeer were having a very busy night. They had been to a lot of different countries and delivered thousands of presents. Now they were high in the sky above the Atlantic Ocean, with stars twinkling above and waves crashing below. Rory, the smallest of the reindeer, sat at the back of the sleigh. He peered out, excited to see Ireland for the first time. Rory was Rudolph's son. It was his first sleigh trip, it was his job to help Santa sort all the presents and make sure no one was forgotten. Just then, the giant's causeway appeared on the horizon. We're nearly there, cried Rory. Quick as a trinkle, Santa's sleigh passed the giant's causeway. The reindeer slowed down as the sleigh flew towards the first house. The sleigh landed with a bump on the rooftop. But instead of coming to a gentle stop, it started sliding along the roof. Rory clutched the edge in fright. What was going on? Whoa, whoa, cried Santa. The reindeer seemed to be getting into a tangle. Santa pulled on the reins, but he couldn't slop the sleigh, sliding forward. Rory felt another bump. The sleigh had crashed into Dancer. Santa jumped out of the sleigh. Rory rushed to help. Poor Dancer got a real bang from the sleigh. Oh dear, oh dear, Santa said as he helped her up. Cupid came over to see what she could do. Dancer had a big bump on her hind leg and looked very pale. You have a little rest, Dancer, Rudolph said. Rory, can you see if the children have left something for us? Rory bounded forward, eager to help. Santa sprinkled magic dust to help him. He shrank down until he was small enough to fit down the chimney. Rory loved when Santa let him go down the chimney. Usually he couldn't wait to see the beautiful Christmas tree and treats the children had left out, but now he was too worried about Dancer to feel excited. Whoosh! Rory was back up the rooftop with some carrots and a mince pie for Santa. Give Dancer a mince pie too, Santa said. Dancer was very grateful and gobbled them up. While Santa left out his presents, Rory filled the children's stockings. The older reindeer waited anxiously to see if Dancer would feel better. I'll be fine, the brave reindeer insisted. But Rudolph and Cupid were very worried. When Santa came back up the chimney, he went to talk to them. Dancer has got a very a bad bag on her leg, Rudolph told Santa. I don't know if she'll be able to fly, Cupid said. Oh dear, said Santa. We still have a lot of presents left and the sleigh is very heavy. I really need all of you to pull it. Let me help, Santa, said Rory eagerly. I'm really big and strong. He stood up on his hind legs to show Santa just how big he was. 
I know you are worried, but I need you to help with the presents, Santa said. I don't want to get mixed up. I'm fine, really, Dancer said bravely. Maybe you should have a longer rest, suggested Cupid. No, let's keep going, Dancer insisted. Well, if you're sure, Santa replied doubtfully. All right then, away we go. The sleigh soared into the sky, passing Knock Lay and the Mourn Mountains. Soon Santa was very busy sorting presents while Worry ticked off the list, filling lots of stockings with presents. Worry was worried about Dancer. She was flying with her sore leg tucked up. She looked very tired. Santa, I don't think Dancer can fly much longer, he whispered loudly. Dancer heard and burst into tears. I'm trying my best, but I don't think I'll be able to make it all the way back to the North Pole. Don't worry, Dancer, Santa reassured her. We'll think of something. Then Rory had a brilliant idea. I know. What about our friends in the Phoenix Park? I'm sure they will be happy to help. Of course, says Santa. Why didn't I think of that? Full speed ahead to Dublin. The sleigh raced past Newgrange towards Dublin. The Phoenix Park was cold and beautiful in the winter moonlight. Rory was so excited when he heard the wolves howl as they flew over Dublin Zoo. There they are, shouted Rory, spotting the herd of fallow deer grazing by Wennington Monument. Down we go, says Santa. Easy now. The sleigh landed with a gentle bump. Straight away, they were surrounded by the fallow deer. Santa, it's so good to see you, Fergus cried. What are you doing here? Fia asked. We thought you would be busy delivering presents. Santa explained about Dancer's injury. So you see, we need someone to take over from Dancer. Oh, let me help, begged Fia. I love to pull the sleigh. Very well, says Santa. But what will we do about Dancer? Leave Dancer here with us, said Fergus. We'll take care of her until she feels better. Thank you, says Santa. I'm glad to know Dancer will be well looked after. Have a good rest, Dancer. I'll send the elves to check on you next week. Dancer was very happy to stay and rest with their kind friends. Rory was very excited to have Fia help pull the sleigh. He was looking forward to show her North Pole. Santa sprinkled magic dust over Fia. He called out to the reindeer. Once again, the sleigh rose into the sky, ready to continue its very important journey. Dancer relaxed with the other deer, glad that she would have a good week's rest before she had to fly home. So, if you happen to be in Phoenix Park, look out for a reindeer who looks just a little bit different from the other deer. If you hide behind a tree so you won't be spotted, you might even see some of Santa's elves coming to check on her. And if you're really lucky, maybe you'll see Santa coming back to bring Dancer home to the North Pole. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls, and I look forward to hopefully meeting you all again and have a merry, merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.